In this video, I'll be showing you the best ROG Xbox Ally X settings for maximum performance. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Now, if you don't care about the quality of the game you're playing and you just want the most frame rate, the smoothest experience, so you can play games like Call of Duty and Fortnite competitively, this is what you gotta do. Firstly, all you gotta do is press your command setup button, which is gonna open up like this. And by default, you're gonna be on 17 watts performance mode. So if you wanna do the most performance, you wanna do the 25 watt turbo mode. Go ahead and switch to that. Your fans are probably gonna be running a lot more, you know, louder now. But what you wanna do after that is go to resolution. By default, you're gonna be on 1080p. But if you want even more frame rate, you can go to 720p for the best frame rate. Now you can have the FPS limit to whatever you want, but if you're playing on turbo and you know, you're playing on 720p, chances are you're gonna be able to hit like the 120 FPS easily and you can even switch it to max if you want to. But I'm gonna keep it on 60. Again, change the resolution to 720p. And then what you can also do is make sure the refresh rate is on 120 hertz. If you wanna monitor your game, you can go to the info bar right here and the real time monitor and you can change it to minimal or whatever you want. Now, once you're done with that, what you can also do is go to your open armory crate S it's gonna look something like this then from here just go over to performance and then you can change the operating mode look at all the different stats but what you can also do is go to manual now I only recommend going to manual if you actually know what you're doing but if you want to you can crank the CPU up all the way if you want to change fan speeds if you know exactly what to do with them but I'm gonna just switch back to turbo just because I'm not great with manual. So I'm just gonna, again, switch back to turbo, like I said. Then from here, what you can also do is go to eco assist. You can turn some of these things off, but what you can do is go on CPU boost. Then what you can also do after that is go to your GPU settings, go through all of these, and some of these should help you, like Radeon boost, you know, it can increase higher FPS with little perceived impact to quality. You can also reduce the lag as well. So from the user inputs and on-screen changes by dynamically adjusting frame timing. And then what you can also do is have AMD fluid motion frames, which enables frame generation to improve FPS for a smoother gaming experience. You can toggle this on and off, see exactly which one you wanna do. Cause sometimes things like that can cause input delay, but it's worth trying them out and seeing which ones are working for you and which ones might not be. And after that, you should should be good to go and you should be on the best settings. Just make sure if you also want the best settings, whatever game you're playing, toe those down to the lowest settings possible and you'll get even more performance out of your games. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also check out our other ROG Xbox Ally X videos on the channel.